he broke the law, and today the Good Law Project won, in a case that involves the Cabinet Office, cronyism and a government contract worth over half a million pounds. Today the High Court ruled that the Cabinet Secretary Michael Gove acted unlawfully when he awarded a lucrative government contract to communications firm Public First, which had close personal and professional links not only to him but also to former number 10 aide Dominic Cummings. The court ruled today that Mr Gove's failure to consider other research agencies during the process would lead any fair-minded observer to conclude that his decision had been biased. Public First boasts on its website that its staff have been recruited from the highest levels of government. Three of its senior partners, Rachel Wolfe, James Frayne and Gabrielle Milland, have all worked at the Department of Education alongside Mr Gove and Mr Cummings. He has since described them as friends. In an email last year, one senior civil servant wrote of her concerns that the firm was way, way too close to number 10 to be objective. This is a message from the government. It goes back to the beginning of lockdown and the government's COVID message. They pay public first £560,000 for polling to find out if it was getting through. Insiders say they had no choice but to act quickly. But the barrister who brought the case disagrees. The reality is that, in fact, government favouritism, institutionalised cronyism, was getting in the way, not helping. What would you like to see from the government and from Michael Gove? Uh, a cabinet minister uh, who uh, oversaw the award of a contract to associates of his and that uh, award is unlawful because no one else was considered, I think that's a resigning matter. The cabinet office said in a statement that it had acted with urgency to ensure it was communicating effectively with the public during Covid and that Mr Gove had no involvement in the award of the contract. Mr Cummings set out his position two weeks ago when he appeared in front of MPs. January, February, March, my concerns and most of the concerns in number 10 were really about capability and speed and buying what we needed and getting PPE to the front line and things like that. And again today on Twitter. He criticised the court ruling saying that if Covid doesn't justify focusing on outcome over process, nothing will. This is taxpayers' money that's been wasted and it's completely unacceptable and that's why I think that that money should be recouped. But equally, we need an investigation to stop this, you know, this, this cronyism and this, you know, uh, total breach of power. This isn't the first case the Good Law Project has won. In February, Matt Hancock was found to have acted unlawfully for failing to publish details of Covid-related contracts. And the campaign group says it will carry on, with the next case due to be heard at the High Court on the 26th of July.